Hey guys, Alan here. Today, today I'm here with David and Ada. No, first off, uh, David, I just would, would like to know, could you introduce yourself for people who don't know who you are? Just give them a sense of what you do and who you are. And if you want your YouTube show, because David, David is also a YouTuber like myself. So, yeah, just give the people a sense. Of who you are. Um, yes, thank you, and thank you for having me on the on your channel. Um, as you said, my name is David Lega. I'm currently working as a member of the European Parliament. I was elected a year ago, um, so I work in Brussels mainly. So I commute from from Sweden every week, except during the the pandemic. Now I've been working from home for two and a half months. So we'll we'll see when it lifts, so I can start traveling again. Yeah. But otherwise, I, I work as a politician. I was deputy mayor in Gothenburg before. I've uh, been a, an entrepreneur for many years. And before that, I was a Paralympian. So I was a swimmer for a few Paralympics world champs. That's really cool. And also, just for people who don't know, just so we can get a sense of your ability per se, could you tell us a bit about your disability and how it Okay. Yes, of course. Interferes with your life. Um, I have a quite unusual disability called AMC. It's arthrogryposis, uh, multiplex congenita. It affects everyone a bit differently, but mainly it's about joints uh, not working the way they're supposed to due to lack of muscles. So my arms is almost completely paralyzed. I have about 30% uh, mobility in my legs. Uh, I do most of the things with my feet at home, uh, toes, feet, um, except for riding. I do that with a penny on my mouth. So I, I invented my own wheelchair, a tricycle with pedals in front, which I use everywhere. Um, and I need uh, caregiving at home, mainly, 24-7. Yeah, the, the thing that people don't realize is the thing when I'm starting the show, people think that because you're in a wheelchair like all your life must be miserable or whatever but thanks to like caregiving and stuff and like carers in the, in the home and the view basically live a fully independent life with the with the help of caregivers so that's kind of something i wanted to touch on because i'm i'm kind of getting into that realm of the world myself so and she kind of wanted you to explain in your own words what, yeah. what, it, what it means to you. Well, I think the, the, the system that we're having in different uh, European member states are very, very different. In, in Sweden, we have a quite a good system uh, that started out with, uh, they call it personal assistance. Uh, so yeah, the government... P -P yeah. yeah. Um, so the government pays for my caregiving. Um, 24 7 so i have one four, four different guys coming home and helping me at home usually uh in turns and they travel with me and go everywhere with me regardless of and and that is so I, i've had it since i moved from my parents around the when i was 20 um and it it's so important for many reasons partly naturally because i want to live an independent life but also due to the the help that i'm getting from from people around me i can actually contribute back to society as well and not only live my life i can contribute and give back and that's so important yeah that's a that's, that's a beautiful way of putting it i'm part of the independent living movement here in ireland and right now there there is no legal right to to a PA, so it's kind of uh, it's kind of a, a struggle, but it, I feel like yes, a lot of people kind of don't see disabled people as contributing members of society. In my opinion, so it's great to see yeah. um, you do all this, especially with your YouTube channel. I'm liking, so I'm just kind of getting into the whole world of wanting to to be independent and stuff. So I was I was looking at on YouTube one day actually about enjoyable relationships and independence of care and I, I don't know how but your your channel 
you you and your girlfriend so and I care like pop clips and do you wanna talk about what motivated you to start to start YouTube and why you do it? Uh, the channel the channel is um, can i say one more thing first because due to the thanks to the the assistance i'm getting i think that people in sweden have seen me as a very independent person for the last 20 year and the thing is that i'm not independent without my caregiving without my personal assistance i'm only independent due to the fact that i get help and that's what we need to get other countries in Europe to understand as well, that I am independent if I get help. If I get help, I can become something else than my disability and not only my disability. So other parts of my identity can develop and grow if, and I can become something else. So today, I think when I was a child, I was more David with a disability. And then I became David the the swimmer the paralympian the entrepreneur the politician and today i think people see me more as a david the the member of the european parliament who happens to have a disability because it's only a part of who i am and that's what my my girlfriend vega wanted to show as well in the in the channel that we have our life together uh because it's mainly it's it is her channel where she talks about uh her life with me and her life with everything around it and uh, what she's doing, what I'm doing together with her or alone. Um, and the disability is a natural part of it, not only, the, the, it's not only, only about the disability, it's about life. And life can be so much more if you also do get the, the help that you need. Yes, that, that's, that's why I, I kind of, watch a lot of these shows and then I kind of wanted to start this again because like I would be I would be kind of very uh, not by fault of my own but I feel like a lot of people in society treat me and other people like me as disability first but it's like people like you unless you go out and show the world that like you are more than this like they're not going to change i'm sure now they they uh, have changed because there's people like you in, in, in jobs that you have and you're you're showing that people like us can kind of be in their jobs and stuff but uh, i think i think it's definitely definitely the way forward and yeah i just really but appreciate it. and hope that there's more more youtube channels out there like like you guys in the education but I mean, you're you're doing the same with your other channel, with the, the Disabled Gamer as well. You show that it's not only about your life as a disabled person, it's what you do with your life. Yes, so yes. I think you're an inspiration to many people as well. And that's great to see. That's why I really wanted to say yes when you asked if I could join you on your, this channel. Yeah, and the thing, the thing about that is I think that it's, it's okay to call people inspirational when they do the right things that are actually admirable, like, I guess, stuff with, with my gaming channel and stuff with you in, in government and parliament. But a lot of people just use it as kind of a, a blanket term for, uh, for disability in general. So I think that... Yeah, and if... if uh... If, if my girlfriend's channel could help inspire people to show that life can be fantastic and wonderful even if you have a disability or if you live with a person with a disability it can be so much more than y you would think in the beginning that's our goal to to yeah. reach out and inspire people what does but we try to do it in our own way yeah what does a, what does a typical day day then in terms of you know, Caregiving and also obviously I know the the relationship part like the Vega didn't do the caregiving it's purely just for like boyfriend girlfriend relationship but what to the what to the what does a typical day in your in your life look like? The the typical day now during the pandemic is really really different 
compared to what it was before or will be after as well, naturally. But um, now when we're mainly at home and working from home, we go up together, but my, my caregiver helps me to do, uh, brush my teeth and to fix everything. And naturally, it's, my, my girlfriend doesn't mind helping me, but we also want to focus on our, our relationship as well. Because I, for me, it's important as well, and for her as well, that it's not a demand to help me. Yes, I think that... But it's, uh, it's, it, it was never like, I won't accept any help from her, for, because of course I will. And she will, is glad to help me as well when we're alone or if something needs to be adjusted, just as you do in a normal relationship. If she needs help with anything that I can help with, I help her as well. Thank you, David, so much for uh, joining us in the interview. I will be linking David and his girlfriend's channel in the description below, so go, go subscribe to that if you want. My name's Ben Allen, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.